suck because I'm not good at practicing. I come to you today bearing a review about this book, Prophecy. This is the sequel to Rhapsody, which makes it the second book in the Symphony of Ages trilogy. Sometimes a, tr a book trilogy is like an Oreo. The middle part actually is the best. Sometimes. More often than not, the middle book is a little bit clunky and awkward because the author is forced to fit details in that they weren't necessarily able to get into the first book, and they're forced to start trying to set up for the third book, so it can get a little bit menial and a little bit, let's just skip five chapters, you know. You know how it is. Thankfully, prophecy isn't like that. Well, I mean, admittedly, I'm working off the bias that I love this book series. But all in all, I actually find that prophecy is a continuation in the truest sense. Like, everything that I loved about the first book is in the second book also, with new stuff added. It's a win-win. In prophecy, Elizabeth Hayden does a great job of being consistent about the writing style, like all of the magic and the music that you love in Rhapsody. If you don't love it, you shouldn't be reading these books. Um, all of that is still in Prophecy, too. So, I'll try to break it down and actually support my erroneous claims. If you like the first book, chances are good that one of the things that enchanted you so much about it is the characters. And, well, surprise, surprise, they're still here in the second book. But Elizabeth Hayden does what you should do in the second book of a trilogy and actually, like, builds upon their character. But more than that, in Rhapsody, there's really a sense of, like, the excitement and freedom of New Beginnings, and that's portrayed in all of the characters' behavior as well. In Prophecy, we're starting to find that they have more responsibility and have to, like, stabilize things. They have to, like, stabilize their lives and what they're doing a little bit so they can't just mosey off and gallop off into the sunset and do random things. If you failed to follow my advice and didn't bother to read the first book, then you know I won't bother explaining this to you. But certain foundations were laid in Rhapsody that continue to be built upon. You know, it's a... We feel that the characters are becoming more mature and solemn and... Well, not solemn. In, in Rhapsody, these characters were spit out into a world that was kind of almost hostile and unfamiliar. In Prophecy, they've, they're kind of attempting to establish, establish their own place and find their own meaning. And thankfully, the new characters that get added actually stand up with the old ones. Like, they, they're not pale, washed out, two-dimensional stand-ins. They actually they have the same complexity as our main characters. So, like, I'll be reading through these books. Like, look at this. Look at how- like, that's a monster. I've, I mean, I've read bigger books. It's over 700 pages long, which is a lot for some people. Not me. I just read through these books. Elizabeth Hayden can be kind of wordy, but she really doesn't waste space. Like, so much happens. I can hardly even believe that, like, where the book starts and where it ends off and prepares for the next, the last, the final installment of the trilogy to, to, to take up in the next volume. And the story. There is one thing, the one scene, one part of this book that breaks my heart every time I read it. Every time. But, you know, you, you'll get to that later. Like, if you read the book, you'll know. You'll know. Unfortunately, there's still that unbearably sweet love story going on. If you like that kind of thing, it's here. You know? It's it's in this book. Like, all of it's in this book. The, the lion's share of our sweet, sappy love story is in this big middle volume. Which, you know, I can deal with. I can deal with that. I can do it. It's okay. It's okay. So, when it comes down to it, again, I'm not gonna pretend that the Symphony of Ages is like 
the best fantasy books out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like just like on the up and up here. It's it's good, but it's not like it doesn't have like the power and the punch to it. There's just it's not real enough. <laughs> I guess that's the only way to describe it. It's it doesn't like it, it it's it's real in a very gilded kind of sense. Like when I read through Game of Thrones or like Scott Lynch's books, I feel that these characters are possibly more human and more real than I myself am. That's not really what I get out of Elizabeth Hayden's work. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, like I said, this is a great series. She did a really good job. But it's just not quite there. Elizabeth Hayden never sees this. I really hope that this doesn't make her feel bad because I absolutely love her books. Like, I really do. They're so enjoyable. Like, I've read this one like five or six times. And look at, look, look at how big that book is and think of how many books I read and I still come back to read this. I'm sorry, Miss Hayden. All in all, good book and it's an excellent middle volume to a trilogy that is one of my favorites. You know, if you like some unbearably sappy romance, if you like a lot of magic, if you like high fantasy, if you like... What else is in there? <laughs> what else is in these books besides sappy romance, magic, and high fantasy? Music, obviously. I was gonna list that last. Anyway, but most of all, if you love music and seeing music utilized in a magical form, this is your book series. Like, The Symphony of Ages is it. And this is the middle volume. It's excellent. Alright, that's all I've got for you today about Prophecy by Elizabeth Hayden. For a, for a little bit more information about the book itself, I would definitely look it up. And I have my review on tumblr.com if you want to go read more about it. So this has been E.K. Rochford on E.K. Rochford's reviews you want for the books you don't. Or in some cases, the books you do. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Look at this. Look at this though. That there's a dragon. There's a dragon.